Hello all, welcome to part 17 of API testing. In this session, I am going to explain the use of tools in performing API testing. So let's get started. So what is the use of tools? Okay, why we have to use tools while performing API testing? Without tools, can't we perform API testing? Okay, all these questions I'm going to answer as part of this session, okay? So guys, let's say we are not going to use any tools for performing the API testing. As you already know, Postman is one of the popular tools available in the market using which we can perform API testing. But what if I don't use Postman? In, in some of the previous sessions, I already used Postman and demonstrated a few examples for you how to perform API testing. But what if this Postman tool is not available and still if you have to perform API testing, how much of testing can you perform, okay? So, so if there is no Postman, we depend on Google Chrome, right? Okay, if there is no Postman, we just depend on Google Chrome. Google Chrome just shows request and response, but won't allow us to test in all possibilities. Only happy path testing is possible with Google Chrome. Uh, let's go to one of the website. That is a uh, request.in, okay? So here, here guys, we'll take one of the possibilities, okay? So let's take this register successful or whatever it is, okay? And click on this link and you are getting a response, okay? You hit the URL, you're getting a response. Not just here guys, but also here also you can see. So what I'll do is I'll inspect this page using the Google Chrome Dev Tools, okay? Let's say we'll go to the network tab and now I'll click on this option. I'll select this restart successful option. If anything is coming, I'll just clear it out and uh, restart successful. You see, restart is happening. Okay, this URL has been hit. Okay, this request URL has been hit, but you can you modify this URL for testing? Is it possible for you to modify this URL from testing instead of restart or instead of this uh, lowercase API if you want to test by giving capital API, is it possible for you? No, right? It is a post method. Can you change it to get and try? So when you are testing APIs, you may have to do different uh, variations, either in the URL parts you have to change, uh, instead of HTTPS, you have to give HTTP and test, okay? Instead of post, you have to give get and test, okay? Like that. And and you are simply, simply uh, the Google Chrome, this network tab is simply showing you the request and response. Whatever the response you got, you are getting and whatever the request you provided, it's getting. But it's just a happy path scenario, guys, okay? It's a happy path scenario where you cannot modify any of these things, items of this uh, request URL or request method or anything else, okay? Or the input or whatever it is, okay? We cannot modify anything. Like, uh, for example, if I want to modify this input, okay? Email email and password, where is it being passed? We are uh, unable to understand here, where is that uh, payload? Yeah, here is the payload, okay? In the payload we are passing, this is called as a payload, guys, as an input we are passing while uh, hitting this uh, request URL. But here, can I change this email address? Can I change this email address and password and hit it? This kind of testing is not possible with Google Chrome, guys, okay? The Google Chrome will not allow you to, you see, only happy path. Just hit the URL uh, with uh, some, whatever the input, and you got the output, okay? That's it. But different variations we have to try while testing. So what I can do here is I'll go to the header part. I'll copy this uh, request URL. Okay, I'll copy this request URL. And I'll go to the Postman tool. If I use tools, then what is the advantage I'm going to show you? Here I'll provide, uh, I'll paste it. Okay, uh, by default, uh, this uh, this uh, register related was post. Okay, register successful was post method. Okay, I'll explain more about post, get, delete, patch, and all those things later. For now, don't worry about that. Okay, just understand what is that use of the tools. Okay, just change it to post here. Okay, and uh, we have to pass the data. What is the data that we have to pass? That is a payload, what uh, email and password we have to pass. I'll just copy this email and password here and uh, go to the Postman tool and go to the body section. I'll select raw and in, this is in JSON format, guys. Whatever the input I'm passing, I'll paste it. Okay, this is the input I'm passing. Okay, now I need to post request URL and uh, the payload, input payload. Okay, everything is a happy path still. Click on send button. What what should be the response? What is expected response? Expected response should be 200 and you should get this ID 4 and token something, okay? Let's see. 
we got the 200 as a response 200 okay as a response id4 and token has come that's fine but now if i want to do some testing what i will do is uh, registers okay instead of register i am giving register sign send okay it's a different api it looks like it's uh, uh, registers is a different api i will say registers abc send okay it's creating something uh, always it's creating something that's okay so uh, it's considering till register only instead of api if i give capital api let's see what will happen capital api and click on send yeah still it is working that's okay instead of dot in i am giving dot com can you do this kind of thing in google chrome without the help of the tools if i say dot com you see i got something uh, 404 not found okay this url doesn't exist simple okay it should be in only uh, if i give a wrong domain name abc like this it will not work right automatically could not send a request is coming because there is no such kind of domain exists okay so again remove this and uh, change this http to https to http and let's see what will happen see page one some some something 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 is coming we don't know what is that happening here okay uh, we are not getting the token and all those stuff okay so we are getting json format uh, and all the records are coming uh, so it is behaving uh, in an odd way okay again when i give https it's working fine what if i put get here and click on send again the same get 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 kind of thing is working here okay so what if uh, i change it to post again and everything is fine and now back to api lowercase api and uh, here i am not providing the email address this kind of thing is this kind of testing is not possible uh, without the help of the tools guys you see postman is one such kind of tool that we can use uh, where we can modify the different things in the request url method okay in the body section input uh, payload and all these things we modify there are many other things we can modify guys and see how the response we are getting the uh, correct response or not that means here we are testing all the possibilities here only happy path is possible okay only happy path is uh, available for us to view okay okay and we are not even testing here in google chrome or something we are not testing we are just seeing the happy path okay happy path uh, scenario is working fine or not okay but if you use a tool like postman right you can change a lot of stuff like uh, those methods and all those stuff the data that you are sending you can modify okay so a lot of possibilities are there for testing guys so whatever i showed you is a sample only okay we'll discuss more about the possibilities later it's not the right time but you just understand understood right like you just understood right what is that what is the need of the tools okay like postman for performing the api testing and what will happen if you don't use the tools okay that also i showed you so this is what is the use of the tools in api testing guys so postman is the number one tool uh, which is uh, though there are many tools available in the market a lot of people use postman it is free guys it's free and open source uh, it's it's kind of completely uh, it's kind of free guys so we can okay use it uh, without uh, worrying about uh, paying some license amount and using okay it's free okay so you can simply download and use it so hope guys you understood what is the use of tools in api testing so that's all for this session and that too guys one more thing i have to tell you in the next session i'll i'll, I'll show you the different uh, different types of api testing tools available in the market apart from postman uh, i'll show you that also okay in the, in this session i i took an example of postman but uh, in the next session i'll list you down the list of uh, api testing tools which are popular in the market apart from the postman tool that uh, projects can use for performing the api testing i'll show you in the next session okay so that's all about this session see you in the next session thank you bye